Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I had an intense dream last night, and I believe it is a prophetic dream, a warning dream to let us know what time it is and what is about to take place. In my spirit, in the dream, I knew that the Antichrist was about to rise. Um, I don't remember all the details of the dreams. I'll just share the parts that I do remember. And I do not um, understand exactly the correlation between the Baphomet, the, the satanic um, uh, goat uh, icon that uh, Satanism used and the Antichrist. I know they're on the same team. Um, but I just don't really understand fully um, in regards to my dream how they correlate. So if you have any insight, wisdom, revelation on that, please share. Um, also, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12 says, For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. So now we know in parts and we prophesy in parts. Nobody knows all the mysteries that's um, you know, the mysteries of the kingdom of God, the mysteries of the kingdom of darkness. We just know parts of the pieces of a whole puzzle that the Lord gives us. And uh, we are to seek out, study, uh, you know, and, and pray for further revelation. Some things, um, the revelation does not come fully for, for me in my life. Um, there were prophetic dreams that took place in 2004 about the um, day of the Lord, the great, terrible day of the Lord that the Lord gave me vividly in 2004. And at that time, I was a new believer and I did not understand fully why he gave that to me. And I was scared to death um, because I thought I was left behind to... Um, witness to go through the great and terrible day of the Lord. So some things, many things actually, um, that the Lord shows us and gives us, uh, we continue to gain more insight, wisdom, knowledge, and revelation on it from glory to glory, from season to season, year to year. Um, but we do not receive the full revelation at that time that it was given. So, um, the scriptures that I received for this dream, even when I was sleeping, this was the scripture that was in my spirit. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 7 and 8. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Every non-born again person or those um, that had at some point received Christ but rejected him and um, turned back to their ways and refuses to remain in Christ until the end. Um, Everyone that is not in Christ, that does not have their name written in the book of life, will bow down and worship the Antichrist, the beast. And maybe that is the correlation. The beast that I saw arose last night. Okay, let me tell you the dreams. I wish I can remember all the details, but I don't. I'll just tell you the vivid parts that I do remember. Okay. Um, I was speaking uh, with a saint, a woman of God, a true born believer of Jesus Christ with his Holy Spirit in her. And so we were just fellowshipping with one another. You know, there was true love, uh, true unity uh, between her spirit and mine. She was a true sister. And while we were chit chatting, fellowshipping with each other, out arose over our planet, the earth, the world, above it, 
was the beast, the Baphomet. I saw him rose up in power and he was so happy that it was his time to arise to rule the earth for a short time, just as the word of God has prophesied. So as he rose above the earth, our planet, he shot out this thing. It's like this ball and it was shooting towards me and her, the saints of God, believers of Jesus Christ. It shot at us and then, but we didn't die and it didn't hurt. We were not wounded and he made a threat directly at us that he was coming for us. And I knew in my dreams, I knew in my spirit that he was coming after us because of our testimony of Christ. Because her and I are worshipers and lovers of God and we are servants of our Lord and Jesus Christ. And so he made a threat to come after us and he had power and authority to do so, to make war with the saints. So we were not afraid. I was not afraid. But I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, if we live, we live in Christ. If we die, we die in Christ. Either way, we are in Christ. Amen. So once he made that threat towards us, I release my weapons of warfare. I began to praise and worship the Lord God with all of my being, with every... Um, passion every bit of passion fiber that was in me i just released and shouted hallelujah i praise you father i love you father i love you lord jesus and i shouted and praised the lord and sang to him as loud as i could with all of my might and as i was looking at this beast the uh, baphomet that was hovering over the planet he was going crazy as I was praising the Lord our God. If you've ever seen um, a person that has lost control, like it had uh, demonic torment, um, out of control, well, that's what happened to the beast <laughs> as I raised my voice, singing praises to the Lord, shouting hallelujah. He could not stand it and it angered him even more. So he pursued me relentlessly. And every time I turn around to look at him up there, you know, over um, the planet, and he's going crazy, I see uh, flashes of red uh, lights as he was going crazy because he was angry. Uh, I believe red, um, I don't know, stands for maybe fire, rage, or something. But... It was flashing reddish um, and um, orangish um, dark lights as he was going crazy while I was praising the Lord my God. And I wasn't standing still praising the Lord my God. I was flying away from him praising the Lord my God. And I just thoroughly enjoyed tormenting him. <laughs> I really did. Um, I kept on shouting praising God, singing even louder as I saw him being tormented. I'm like, oh, okay. okay. So anyways, I fled from him. He pursued me everywhere. And I saw the entire world was under his power, under his authority, under his rule. Every tongues and nations of different tribes, um, they served him except those that are born of God. And he was pursuing the saints. So he did not capture me yet. Um, then he went after my sons, my three sons. I have three sons, age 8, 12, and 16. And um, so he was going after them, trying to capture them. And my boys were running, hopping fences, flying. It's like we had supernatural um, ability, you know, in this dream to do all of that. And so it was violent. It was intense. I don't know how else to explain it. And um, so my boys were not captured and they were not harmed. Um, but eventually the beast captured me. And when he captured me, I was not afraid, but I did wonder. I'm like, oh boy, I wonder if this is going to hurt. But there was no fear. Um, the beast um, 
the Antichrist is how I knew him in my spirit in this dream. He put a black cloth over me that covered my head all the way down to my waist. It was a thin pitch black silky type cloth and he covered me with it and he was trying to um, securely tightly wrap me with it and then he was braiding the cloth over my head. Um, I don't know what he was doing, trying to suffocate me, I have no idea, but um, somehow I got away and I fled him. And and I said, uh, like I said, I saw people from different nations that were under his power doing his evil bidding. Uh, there were death camps everywhere and um, he was relentless, but somehow or another, we were not fearful. I was not fearful, but it was intense. If you've ever ran for your life, you know how intense that is. So um, anyways, um, I don't remember all the details, but I do I do remember that I knew with, within that dream beyond a shadow of a doubt that the beast, the Antichrist, is about to rise and he is about to step into his... Um, um, you know, power, his full power from his father, Satan, uh, to rule and reign for a short uh, period of time. And he's going to go after the saints of God to make war with the saints of God. And he will overcome some of us. Some of us will lose our lives for the, uh, for the name of Christ. However, uh, we should have no fear because perfect love casts out fear. Amen. So we must learn to abide in the shadow of the Almighty right now. Run to the Holy of Holies where the presence of the Lord is. There's no time to be lukewarm. No time to play church. No time to be on the fence right now. Because the time to choose which God you will serve. Whether the beast, the Antichrist, which the majority of the world will bow down to, will worship all the lukewarm Christians that does not have a relationship with God will bow down to the beast. But those of us that walk with Christ and fellowship and have fellowship with the Holy Spirit that live in his word and obey him, we will not bow down to the beast. Amen. And God will sustain us. God will protect and provide. And like I said, and like the word of God says, if we die, we die in Christ. If we live, we live in Christ. Either way, we will be forever with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be faithful till the end. Do not reject and deny our Lord and Savior. Amen. The beast is about to rise. Put on our whole armor every day. Pray in the spirit without ceasing. And seek Father for instruction, for direction and wisdom. Every day in all things, do not be casual. <laughs> the time to play with God is over. Please remember to lift up myself and my sons, my family in prayer. Please pray that my boys will be baptized with the Spirit of God. The baptism of the Spirit of God that will endow his wisdom understanding knowledge power strength might counsel and the fear of the lord that they would know that our lord and savior jesus christ is the only one that can truly save them and they will never ever deny him in the name of jesus pray over your children pray over your lost loved ones just pray without ceasing amen is about to get serious it really is and we must run to the Holy of Holies, abide in the shelter of the Most High. Amen. I love you guys. Pray for me.